Hello and welcome to Pepped Up by Paintings. I've decided to release four videos over the next four days depicting the Easter story. So today being Maundy Thursday, we are going to start with one of the most famous paintings anywhere in the world, Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper. The Last Supper was created for a convent in Milan, Santa Maria della Grazia, and it is a fresco. So it was painted onto a wall, in fact it was painted onto the refectory wall, so where meals took place, very apt for its surroundings. Um, I say fresco, it wasn't actually technically speaking a proper fresco because being Leonardo da Vinci he experimented and he experimented by painting directly onto dry plaster instead of wet plaster as you normally would with a fresco and it didn't work. So almost immediately the, the pigment started to flake so it's in very bad condition, it has been restored. Nonetheless, this is an extraordinarily powerful work because it operates on so many different levels. The Last Supper depicts the moment just after Jesus has said the words, one of you will betray me. So Jesus himself is He's not speaking, he's just looking down quite serenely, it has to be said, at the table. Whereas all around him, his disciples are reacting um, quite animatedly, in most cases, to this news, to this terrible news. And what is lovely is that each of the disciples is reacting in his own his own different way. So St Peter, for example, has pulled out a knife. So he is ready to defend Jesus from this traitor. St Thomas is pointing up to the heavens um, as though to say, well, does God know about this? Is God okay with this? But of course, his gesture with this, this finger is, um, it foreshadows a moment just three or so days later in which he will use this very same finger to poke into to Christ's wound. At the end of the table, other disciples are gesturing towards Jesus. St Philip is gesturing towards himself as though to say, oh, it's not me, I am not the traitor that you're looking for. The noise and the sort of chaos of this scene is really ramped up by, well, because these 13 figures are confined in a relatively small space. They're all on the other side of the table to us as the, the spectator. Quite often when you see depictions of the Last Supper, you'll see one disciple, Judas, of course, on the other side of the table. So physically separated already from Jesus and the, the rest of the disciples. That's not to say that Judas isn't easy to identify in this work, um, but his identification sort of comes as part and parcel of something else that is going on here. As I said, it's, it's, a, it's a work with very many layers. At the Last Supper, Jesus also introduced the sacrament of the Holy Communion. And you can see here that he is reaching out with his left hand towards bread to his right hand towards wine. And he says, take this bread, this is my body, take this wine, this is my blood and remember me. But just look at this right hand, just look at the way that it's really quite widely spread. So is he reaching out to this wine or is he reaching out to this bowl just past the wine? One of the ways that Jesus knows who is going to betray him is that this will be the person that shares his bowl at the Last Supper. So indeed the disciple sitting next to Jesus to his right is also reaching for the bowl but whilst he's reaching for the bowl, he is, his body is leaning as far away as possible from Jesus in the sort of quite a, quite a strong reaction to what he's just said. This is, of course, Judas. 
and as if we weren't already sure, he is holding in his other hand a pouch which contains his 30 pieces of silver for, for betraying Jesus. Now, it would be the very lucky person that would get close enough to this fresco to see all of these glorious details uh, very close up. But clever Leonardo, this works on another level as well. It works on a compositional level. If you look, 12 disciples, Jesus has 12 disciples, each of them grouped, so they're grouped into threes. And where you have a three, you think of the Trinity. Jesus himself is this beautiful triangle, compositionally, he's this lovely triangle right in the centre of the composition. And he is framed by a window behind him, which means that he has a sort of natural halo that's coming from, from the light but, um, through the window. There are no other halos, you'll notice, nothing else at all to suggest that these are holy people, personages, personages, saints. Um, but nonetheless, you are never, ever going to think that this is anything other than a depiction of the Last Supper. It is an extraordinary work of art. It's extraordinarily famous and for good reason. Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper dates to 1498. I hope you'll join me tomorrow when I'm going to be looking at a very beautiful but incredibly moving depiction of Christ on the cross by Velasquez. I hope you'll join me. Bye.